Now, this is our path. We had a requested video about how can we improve the hill. And what the dream is, is to get the guy who owns the hill, either to lease it to us or sell it to us. And we want to widen it out like it is right here so we can get our a truck up here. And that would take care of all our problems. I guarantee you right there. Um, we could smooth it out and put a layer of gravel down, I guess, and it would make a huge difference. Um, on the left side here, you see these little coconut trees here. This is the guy here that owns the, the, the bulk of the path. Right where I'm standing, another guy owns this, but he's pretty friendly. So I'm sure we could talk him into it. I don't think they'd have any problem. The old guy, he had a fit when we put the little bead of cement down the path to save the erosion. But I think if we talked to him and they offered him a little bit of money, he'd probably let us do whatever we want. But from right here down, you know, here we have to do some pretty good digging. Um, we never get a machine in here in like that. We can never afford that. But I think if I got a couple guys in here, uh, I think we could widen it up fairly easy. Uh, the, you see a little bit of the rock here. The rock up here is real soft and it chips away pretty easy with a bar. So I don't think that'd be a huge problem. But we'd have to take back probably about four foot on each side of the sidewalk here to make it wide enough for a truck to go up. Uh, like one of the little multi cabs and then down here we've got some big trees in the way so on the left side as I'm going down here we have to take quite a bit of this corner here off because there's a big coconut tree there and then the biggest part right here is going to be right here there's a, a Tugas tree and a coconut tree if we cut straight down by the Tugas tree, it's about four and a half, five foot high there. We could probably get the truck through there. It probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. And then just trim the right side of the path down here a little bit, maybe back two or three feet. And worked over the left side flat. Um, I think we could probably get it wide enough and I'm sure the little trucks would walk right up the hill. It's, it's steep but it's not that bad. Um, first gear and four wheel drive they're uh, pretty versatile little trucks. We're right down here by the highway. But it, the hill is fairly steep but you can see there's kind of a little mound over here on the left side so I think if we just flatten that out I, I think we'd be okay. We just don't want to uh, make it so that there's any erosion going down the hill because over here it drops down about 35 40 feet almost straight down you know down into the bottom so and then if you look back up there see Mara Fino she's probably what 35 40 feet above me now already so you know and she's probably a good 20 feet higher in elevation it's a pretty steep little hill I know I've crashed a few times on the bike going up it but that's because the bike gave out. But we've got a nice big approach here now and uh, it's all leveled out from where they, they had to make a road across when they rebuilt the bridge. So we could easily make make this turn here and back up to the rocks and, and take a straight run at it. I don't think we'd have any problem with that. But the first first 150 feet are pretty steep then it levels out and there's one more little st steep section but 
You know, I, I think we could do it. It'd probably just take, I think it'd take about two weeks with a couple guys and some bars and picks and uh, permission from the guy, the owner and then maybe get some gravel in here to kind of hold the dirt and uh, Nick would have it. So, you know, I don't think it'd probably cost more than three or four hundred dollars, I don't think, to get it done. But that's the dream someday. You never know. Got to have dreams and ambitions, right? That's one of our little goals. Mm -hmm.